And after the cinemas for the red carpet premiere of Jade Osiberu's The Trade, as she rings in the year 2023 with yet another crime thriller, written by award-winning screenwriter Yinka Ogun and produced by Foresight Global Films, the project follows the story of DK Maduka, aka Eric, a notorious genius billionaire kidnapper who ravaged the southern part of Nigeria for several years. In the early hours of this morning, the latest victim of a vicious kidnapper whose identity we are yet to uncover escaped from the house where she had been held hostage for the past six weeks. So, what do we know? Absolutely nothing. To trade, a crime thriller based on a true life story of a kidnapped kingpin finally makes its debut in cinemas five years after it was delayed in post production. Who you be? We don't know where he lives, if he's married, if he has kids. You're my biggest inspiration on the force. I just want to learn. I want to learn from the best. These ruthless kidnappers have terrorized Lagos for the past few years. No trial. Some of the movie cast and crew members are joined by friends and movie enthusiasts for the premiere in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. I think there's something we're missing because no one can be that careful. We have some questions in relation to an ongoing investigation. What did we that? This morning, I announced a reward of 35 million naira to anyone who comes forward with information that leads to the capture of these criminals. Crime never goes unpunished. I believe, no matter how many years it takes, I believe in, I believe in karma. You know, karma will always come visiting. Another thing that we should take away is the fact that, you see, for me, it's important that we start telling such, you know, stories about things that are happening in our society, you know, to create that awareness. And the best way to do it is through um, media, television, such a powerful tool to begin to tell the stories of what's happening in the country and, you know, how to go about tackling these issues in the country, you know. So that was one of the reasons I came on board to be a part of this, I mean, um, film. When I first read the script, I found it so intriguing. I didn't drop it from start to finish. And for me, before I come on, before I decide to be part of a production, I like to connect to the story and the character deeply, which I did. So casting is a it's a very delicate thing. Um, if you if you focus on A-listers, you know, funny thing is a lot of some of them when we shot weren't A-listers. Do you get what I'm saying? So, you know, between then when we shot and now, they have grown. But then that's just testament to say that when we saw them, they were good at what they were doing. You know, so we're proud that they are A-listers now. It's, it wasn't really about A-listers. It was more about people who could deliver, take on those characters and play it out properly. Post-production took a while. Um, to be honest, the film has been ready for over a year now, but we also wanted to do it right when it comes to distribution. And so we just had conversations with a lot of people and decided that, okay, you know, this was the time to, to, to bring it out. And I feel like regardless of how long it is, it's a very strong story. Um, there's still a lot of mystery um, surrounding the subject. And I think that people will really, you know, it's, a, it's an eye opener. And I think that um, audiences will enjoy it regardless. <laughs> Calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. All of us in Unit 2B as a last. The chairman is in the area. I repeat, the chairman is in the area. Directed by award-winning filmmaker Jade Oshiberu, Tetray tells the story of a notoriously cunning kidnapper who ravaged the southern part of Nigeria for over a decade. I play uh, Meshach. Meshach happens to be one of the gang members, uh, one of um, the leader's boys. And he is, he's, he's young and he's just gotten, he's gotten into crime. They brought him from the village actually and he's gotten into crime um, at such a young age, but he's brutal. But you know how people in crime still have a hat somewhere and so he, he still, he still had a, has a hat. Um, this film was made over 2018. That, um, Yes, yes. So I get questions like, ah, how come I look so young at Transform? It was a while ago. That was probably my first big film. Um, so experience was wonderful. Rita Dominic is warm. I mean, I there was a scene where I had to manhandle her. And you know how you're feeling like, ah, Rita, Rita. 
she didn't feel she didn't make me feel like an upcomer at all um, at the time. So yeah, Jadi Osibere is an amazing director. She brought out every you know the juice in all the actors that are on it, and I'm grateful to have been on it. So I played the police officer, you know, part of the team, you know. Um, after the bad guys, you know what I mean, you know. Um, I'm just trying to give too much away. But yeah, so you, you get to see ASP Charleston doing his thing, you know, as usual. It was interesting, it was the first time I was playing a police officer, you know, and so they teach you how to prime a gun, they teach you how to handle, handle life ammunition. So we had, you know, instructors on, on the project, which was really good. Um, and so that, that was quite thrilling for me. I've, I've always loved, you know, working with dangerous weapons, you know what I mean, so I love that part. In the lead role is Blossom Chukujeku, who played a kidnap kingpin. It is very important to be telling stories like this because um, the trade is actually centered around current issues, what is presently happening on ground in Nigeria. You know, uh, people get to learn a lot of lessons in it. You get to know that um, doing what the, uh, the, the villains did in the movie isn't a good thing because the law which will catch up with you, that's one. Secondly, you get to understand some of the plots and ploy these criminals use to nab someone. So I think there's a lot to learn from the movie The Trade. It's important to tell crime stories because I already know how, how shitty the narrative of stories is in Nigeria today. Police incidents, bloggers incidents, not actually having the accurate narrative of stories, you know, misleading the public. So you have to actually know how to portray the stories and movies like this will educate you more on how to play the narrative. Other cast of the film include Chiwetalo Agu, Mercy Aigbe, music star Waje, and Dinola Gray, amongst others. So what do we know? Absolutely nothing. We know a lot about how he carries out his operations, but absolutely nothing about the man. Who be that? Who you be? We don't know where he lives, if he's married, if he has kids. You're my biggest inspiration on the force. I just want to learn. I want to learn from the best. These ruthless kidnappers have terrorized Lagos for the past few years.